Welcome to the recreation channel. Today I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic that is how to generate anubia seeds using anubia flowers. So this will be a very interesting topic. So please be with me until the end of the video because I'm going to explain all the practical steps to do the artificial pollination to get anubia seeds using anubia's flowers there are mainly there are three ways to propagate anubias you can cut the mother plant and replant but it is very slow the propagation rate will be very slow the other way is tissue culture method uh, but for that you should have a tissue culture lab this way using flowers the propagation using seeds will be a uh, very interesting for you so also please don't forget to subscribe my channel click the subscribe button and the bell icon also then you will get notification about all my new videos about aquarium plants and plant tanks and different different ways to grow different different types of aquarium plants so we will start with this topic how to generate anubia seeds using anubia flowers you can see there are some flowers this is my collection of uh, anubia mother plants this one is a completely open flower this uh, anubia buttery is a big plant compared to other anubia varieties so the flowers also a little bit bigger than other anubia varieties uh, so it is uh, easy compared to other varieties to do the pollination. There are many flowers. These are uh, still on the blooming stage. For a successful pollination, uh, you should have few plants with you, few uh, mature mother plants. Uh, with one or two plants you can do this at least five to ten plants you should have uh, because female and male segments of the flowers are maturing in different different stages uh, so flowering is a random uh, process so we can't control only thing we can do we should maintain uh, few plants to get many flowers then you can easily do the pollination uh, female and male segments of the NBS flowers containing the same flower not like some other plants some plants produce uh, female flowers separately and male flowers separately but uh, NBS female and male segments of the flowers are containing contain the same flower but uh, anubias has a natural barrier to prevent self pollination that's why uh, you can't see any seed generations uh, through your anubias flowers we have to do artificial pollination to get the seeds. Uh, how anubias prevent cell pollination? First, the female segment of the flower start to mature. Then after that, the male segment will start to mature to produce uh, pollen. Uh, so these two stages uh, maturing process is not happening at the same time uh, first female part will mature and the and the second stage uh, male part will mature so that's why uh, self pollination is not possible Uh, 
these are already pollinated uh, flowers with some there should be some seeds inside yeah you can see some seeds are growing so if you follow my steps uh, which I am going to explain you also can easily do this to get the uh, seeds a successful pollination will generate seeds in your flowers here you can see some seeds This one also already pollinated flower. The top part of the flower is dying, but it will generate seeds. So, nothing inside of this flower because I didn't do the pollination if you can do this successfully you can generate many baby plants uh, using few mother plants sometimes uh, one flower can produce seeds uh, 50 to maybe 200 300 so that's a big quantity the all depend will depend on the success of the pollination these are some buse plants there are some flowers nowadays i am experimenting this also to get seeds using uh, buse plants flowers if it is success i will do a video about this also one is nbs butter narrow leaf flower nbs butter narrow leaf flowering rate is high compared to other nbs varieties if you grow your nbs under water you can do pollination uh, so you should have uh, immerse growing growing uh, nbs collection to to the pollination female stage of the flower will start uh, just after the blooming first uh, day second day and third day we can consider as the female stage male part of the flower will start to produce pollen uh maybe after third or fourth day fourth and fifth sixth days we can consider as male uh male stage of the flower Uh, this is the male segment of the flower, this white color segment and this segment with uh, some kind of uh, dots uh, is the female segment of the flower, this segment, this is the female segment. Now. Uh, I am going to collect some pollen I use a brush a small one it should be a very soft one you can use your fingers also to collect pollen
now I am going to apply this pollen to the female segment of the flower this one is another pl uh, flower if you have many plants the success rate will be very high here you can see few seeds in this flower generate many seeds uh, you should uh, choose the correct period to do the pollination this one you can see there are many seeds in this flower again I am going to explain about the male and female segments of the flower this white color segment is the male segment which generate uh, pollen and this part bottom of the flower a seg the segment with uh, some kind of dots is the female segment next time i will do a video how to uh, extract uh, seeds from the flower matured seeds and uh, how to plant them and how to produce baby plants using seeds so be with my channel uh, please subscribe click the subscribe button and also the bell icon there uh, finally thank you very much for being with me we will meet next time thank you very much